one of the big problems we face is that it's it's a huge market. I mean, imagine the number of cans of tuna uh, that go to market each day all across the United States, and the daunting task of trying to regulate that. I mean, the FDA couldn't possibly test them all. So I think it has to go back to the actual markets and the the folks that are collecting tuna, that they have to have some sort of internal mechanism for testing those and making sure they're, they're meeting standards and not exceeding them um, before they ever leave the factory. Humans have moved most things around the environment and concentrated them in places that becomes problematic, and mercury certainly is no different. Um, old batteries that are disposed can be incinerated or put into landfills, ultimately that mercury ends up in water. What happens is in water there's organisms that basically convert it from the elemental forms or some of the other forms that are very common in our products to the methylated form. And methylmercury is what uh, bioaccumulates, it's the one we find in fish, it's the one that's most toxic and the one we're really worried about. It's like anything else, when you do things in excess, that's when problems occur. Most of the exposures to mercury are, are chronic, meaning they're small doses over long periods of time. And if you eat mercury or tuna, more appropriately, um, on a regular basis, you know, it, it has a lot of good things. It has omega-3 fatty acids, it has protein it's, that's good for you. If you ate it every day, for every meal, with everything, that's when you can start to have problems occur. So regulating the amount that you consume, um, choosing those types of tuna, um, which we talked about in the paper, the light tunas, which contain less, allows you to eat more of that and still stay, stay below those safe concentrations. It's been pretty well known that a lot of common fish that are consumed, um, you know, mackerel, swordfish, and tuna, and others, um, contain elevated mercury. They come from the environment. Um, it's been pretty well documented. And based on what they eat and where they live, uh, you would expect to see mercury in, in most fish. A um, little surprised that we saw as many as we did up around that, you know, half a part per million range.